Well, today is an important milestone for the Oban City Access project. This is a project which sees a 670 metre tunnel take buses from Hackney Road and deliver them up to Grenfell Street in the city. Uh, and that means people on the buses will avoid uh, up to uh, three extra sets of traffic lights that they're currently having to battle in morning and peak hour traffic. Today uh, the final planks are being laid on the roof of the tunnel, uh, which means the tunnel structure will be complete. And uh, in the middle of 2017, as we are at the moment, we're still aiming, we're still on track to have this project finished at the end of this year. Uh, and that means people should see uh, not only their bus services using this tunnel, uh, but we'll also see all of these works in the eastern part of the city uh, finish up and the parklands reinstated uh, to just as good as they were before. This is a really important infrastructure project, uh, not just for commuters though, it's important for the rest of Adelaide's road network. Hackney Road is part of the inner city ring route and it takes over 40,000 vehicles every day. This project removes buses from the rest of the traffic and it removes them from the intersection at Hackney Road uh, and Botanic Road as well. But it's also been a, a great project for the parklands and for the East End. We're returning over a thousand square metres of land to parklands for the first time uh, in decades. And we're also seeing more car parks installed for traders in the East End. And this is a great example of how uh, working with the local council, uh, working with the contractors and South Australian companies can provide uh, a much broader benefit from an infrastructure project uh, rather than just delivering the civil construction works. I'm also really pleased to say that this has been a great project for South Australia's economy. Uh, we're supporting 450 jobs over the uh, just under two year period that we've been building it and uh, over 90% of those jobs are South Australians. And we've also partnered with great companies like Sage Automation uh, who have designed uh, all of the smarts, all of the brains that uh, run and monitor the tunnel, uh, keeping, it, keeping it functioning well but keeping it safe for South Australians. So it's a good example of how we can use our infrastructure spend to uh, support South Australians in work and to support South Australian companies grow and flourish in our economy. Today's a wonderful day uh, for the development of the Oban Tunnel. We're about two thirds of the way through. The last section of roof was just put on today. Uh, and it's gonna be a great development for those people who have to catch the bus in every day into town. Um, the savings in time and peak hour are gonna be quite substantial, uh, probably in the area of 10 minutes, uh, coming through that Hackney Road section, which as you guys will know, is really, um, can be quite a, a gridlock at times. So we're gonna see that improved. Uh, a nice smooth ride into work, but also if you want to come in when the fringe is on or the festival is on, or you want to come to town and see a movie or get a meal, it's going to be so much easier. It's probably going to be quicker to catch the Oban, truth be known, and certainly a lot less trouble with parking and everything else. So, um, great to see, really looking forward to that day of opening, hopefully November, December, but we're on time and we're on budget. Uh, it's a very, very exciting day.